LiDAR often contains hundreds of millions of points stored in multiple files, making for a data management, analysis, and dissemination nightmare. Please welcome our lead 3D product engineer to take away the nightmare, Nathan Shepard. Thanks, John. Collections of LiDAR can be enormous, and they come with several requirements. You want quick viewing, update, and analysis, and you want to be able to manage and share that data with others. At 10.1, ArcGIS has native support for LiDAR and all the tools you need for working with it. Let's start with viewing LiDAR. I recently downloaded some uh, LiDAR from the USGS, about 10 million points, and they were delivered in 20 LAS files. To view this data, it's as simple as pointing to the folder containing those LAS files and hitting OK. And in a few seconds, we're seeing LiDAR natively in ArcMap. It's OK to clap. Um, by default, it's rendered as elevation points, but we can use other LiDAR attributes, such as the class code. Now we see blue points for the ocean, brown points for the ground, green points for vegetation. It's a layer, so we can change symbology and make our building points yellow. Now, LiDAR is 3D, so we've included a 3D preview window for LiDAR. and the ability to drag out a profile line and see it as a cross-section. You might notice that some of these points aren't classified yet, these light gray points. Now, because the human brain is really good at recognizing objects from abstract things, like treetops from a bunch of points, we can update those class codes directly in the source LAS files. And we've been looking at LiDAR as points. We can also look at LiDAR as a surface. Right now, I'm using all the points to generate a surface from my LiDAR. And it contains buildings and trees and outhouses. And it's a really good surface for doing line of sight. We can filter our data. And we can use the ground points. After I change it correctly to the right filter, now we can see that LiDAR uh, as a surface. And this is good for slope analysis or creating contours. So you add those in. The point is, you can choose which points participate in your LiDAR surface and then use it for many different types of analysis. ArcScene also supports LiDAR. And in this view, you can see that that bare earth LiDAR surface is very messy and noisy over the ocean, over the bay. We can use constraint features to improve that surface. And if we want to see our buildings and trees and boats and outhouses again, we can just add the non-ground points as a second layer and then zoom in and continue to investigate our LiDAR. So that's an introduction to quick viewing and analysis of LiDAR. Let's talk about data management and sharing. At 10.1, the Mosaic data set has been expanded to also support LiDAR. So I can manage and look after my, my San Diego data using a Mosaic. But I can use that same Mosaic for all of my California LiDAR, like this strip of LiDAR that's along the coast at Huntington Beach, these orange groves in Redlands, or I can zoom out, I can see the full extent of all my LiDAR. The point is, my LiDAR is managed. Then, when it's time to share this LiDAR with others, we simply publish this mosaic out as an image service. And when it's time to do our next project, say for Craft and Hills College, we simply connect to our Amazon server in the cloud, we drag in the image server, and we can see we have LiDAR coverage here. This is a rasterized, hill-shaded representation of my LiDAR. If I need to work with the points, then the download option makes it easy for me to select and then download the last files 
that I need for this area. My LiDAR is shared and it's accessible. <laughs> to wrap up, let's look at a slightly different kind of LiDAR. LiDAR captured from the ground. Here we have 100 million points captured by Navtech by their roaming trucks. And this data is really good for validating your existing GIS data, such as the size, shape, and height of your buildings. It also contains beautiful, 3D uh, beautiful color values, so it's adding some realism to my view. By default, ArcScene is thinning out the number of points, but I can always choose to see an area in full resolution. Some of you are already using LiDAR. Some of you have got LiDAR tucked away in bookshelves, cupboards, under your desk. 10.1, we really want you to get that LiDAR out, start working with it, and taking advantage of these new capabilities.